Hello everyone. This is C O A D B dot com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're briefly going to discuss coats of arms of several merchants. The first is blazoned, Argent, a fess counter embattled between three dolphins embowed or crest, a kingfisher proper. The beak, in the beak, a fish or. This was found in County Derby and London in England and was granted in 1660 to William Fisher, a merchant of London and the son of William Fisher of Littleover in Derbyshire. Next is or, a stag couchant proper, Gorged with a collar azure, thereon a mullet argent between two crescents of the first, in the dexter chief point a rose gules for difference. Crest, a stag's head, cooped proper, gorged with a collar azure, thereon a mullet argent between two crescents or. This was the arms of the Scott Baronetcy of Coo Green in the county of Middlesex a title that was created in the Baronetage of England in 1653 for William Scott. He was the son of James Scott the Younger, who lived in Middleburg, Zetland, and the family settled in Flanders in 1519, and William was a merchant living in Rouen, or Rouen France. Next is azure, a chevron argent between three storks heads erased at the neck or crest a stork standing on a mount in a watching posture proper. The hall baronetcy of Dunglass in the county of Haddington was created in the baronetage of Nova Scotia on October 8, 1686 for John Hall. Sir John Hall was a Scottish merchant who twice served as Lord Provost of Edinburgh. Next is Gules, a chevron ermine in chief two mounds, or in base a Talbot passant of the last. Crest, two arms embowed, habited ermine, cuffs azure, hands proper, supporting a mound as in the arms. This was the arms of Richard Hart Davis, the son of Henry Davis and Marianna Hart. He was a Bristol merchant who traded in the West Indies and made a fortune. In 1810, it was reported that he earned £200,000 by getting possession of all the Spanish wool in the kingdom. He served as a member of parliament for Colchester and Bristol. Next is per pale or and gules, a best dance set between three wolf's heads erased counterchanged. Crest, a wolf's head erased bendy or and gules, in the mouth a ragged staff sable. This was the coat of arms of Miller of Winkley Square. Thomas Miller was born in Lancashire, England in 1766. He was a cotton merchant and the mayor of Preston. Next is Argent, three boar's head sable, tusk of the field. This coat of arms was that of Jean Antoine, Antoine and Joseph Bailey, who lived in France. And Joseph Bailey was a merchant by occupation. Next is Argent, three bars azure, over all a cross flory ermine, in chief a fountain. Crest, a demi lion rampant vert, charged on the shoulder with a fountain and holding between the paws an anchor. And this was the arms of Sir William Cunliffe Brooks, a merchant banker and member of parliament for 
Manchester. If you enjoyed this video, please visit the link in the description, which will lead you to coadb.com and click the Discover Your History button. We offer genealogy and ancestral and heraldic research service packages where we will research the ancestry of one, two, three, or four of your grandparents. Uh, typically, we can get back several hundred years, and then we assess as to whether or not they owned a coat of arms, and if they did, we will let you know which one. Thank you very much. The link is in the description, coadb.com.